Hey folks, it's Rithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to Factorio. We've had a little break. Let's get back to building a million minions. And and we've got that belt that's coming through. That's, that's feeding everything in. And if we look back here, that's running through quite quickly. And then those will be running through as well. It's the uh, electric science. Uh, the, the electric science, not science. Uh, the, the electric packs that we're waiting on there. So that's going to run that way, like that. It's going to come round this way. It's going to go up there. And it's going to go along here like this in a big long run right there. It's going to stop there. We'll see how that uh, joins together in a minute. We're not going to worry about that just for a second. I'm going to take these and that's going to go one. I'm going to go each side like this. There, just one and one. That's all we need with this one. We don't need anything special. Like that. And we drop those in there like that. Perfect. Then I can take those like that. And start dropping all of that through. So I've now got green science packs being manufactured over here as well. I'll go back into here and I want to make a few more oops, sets of pipes being made there. I don't want to be making pipes. I want to make several more of the um, small electric poles. Right, so there's our green science packs, and what we're waiting for is the inserters. The inserters are currently the issue. We can't make any inserters. I do know that the green science packs are coming out on that side. That's absolutely perfect for us, which means that I can drop that one up there like that. And I've now got green and red science coming out in the same place, just like that. Which means that I can now go over here... And I can remove that piece of belt right there. I can block that one off completely. I can remove that. I can come down through there like that. I come down through there like that. And I can remove this belt out. Take that out of the system. Which means that I can also now start to dismantle this part of the system as well. When we start to dismantle this part of the system, you're going to notice some very sort of odd things are going to start to happen and this is actually quite cool this is the way that the the, ro the robots work i love doing this i absolutely do because the robots are genuinely cool so i want to make a deconstruction planner i'm going to drop that one in there this is just a general deconstruction this will remove absolutely everything okay so what do i want to remove to start with i want to remove those six down there but I also want to remove some of these belts as well. So I'm going to go from that point there. And I'm going to bring that down. And take those out there like that. Now once they've got a red X on them. It will remove everything from the system. And it puts all of this. All of this is now going to go and be put into long term storage. The construction robots will all fly over. Here they come. And they will pick up everything that has now got a red X on it. They will clear stuff off of the belts as well. You can see they're picking up these items off of the belts. And they will go and put all of this. There we go. Look, see. The whole lot. That will all be picked up and it will be taken down. And it's going to be dropped into the long-term storage chest down here. Now, those are going to automatically stuff everything down into the very bottom chest. Because we've got no filters or anything working on any of those. That's fine. We'll be going and picking most of that up very shortly. We're, um, we're not just going to let it stay there. They are now backing up and they're having to do a little bit of charging while they work around that. That is also fine. That's not going to make any difference. But we've got the entire system up and running. I don't need to have any of this stuff up here anymore. Right? All of this is now done. I've manufactured everything that I need and also the iron that's coming out of there. I no longer need any of that coming through either. The only thing that I want still is this bit right here. This electronic circuit production because that's running down here. But I don't actually need that either because in here I've still got... I mean, if I got in there, I got just under a thousand green circuits in there which is more than i need for the whole thing so i'm going to remove that and we'll remove that whole production system there as well this everything's coming out we're removing the whole lot now and we've got to be careful that you don't remove everything because everything does cause you some issues uh next up i need to move some of these around 
Um, oh, we'll, we'll just do it like this for a minute. Right, so I'll go like that. And just do those two there. And I'll go like that. And I'll remove those belts up to there, up to that point. There's no... Actually, there isn't any point in keeping any of these belts. Right, I may as well get rid of all of that. Because... I no longer have any blue circuits going in, so they're not going to use up any of these green circuits either. Right? None of that is going to be used. So I can go down through there, and I can remove all of that section. A big chunk there that can be removed. And I can go there, and I can take out those. Plus that little square right there. Now, we may end up accidentally removing too many power poles at some point during this whole removal process. Um, I always recommend doing this slowly just do this a little bit carefully as you start removing big chunks of your base especially if you're at a stage like we are right now where we don't have that much sort of readily available extras uh there is one thing i want to check a second let me go up here uh where are we right there uh, we're using all of our construction robots to do this so if I go over this way, if you remember, we had a whole load of extras. I've got almost uh, run out of electric engine units. I've got 96 in there. Right, fine. What I will do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I like to keep them. I, I do like to keep them even. Okay, so I'll take 90, 90 of them right there. And then I go to you. Nope, there. Construction robots, and that's... Okay. You know what? I've just... Uh, uh, Shift-click on there, and shift-click, that will just make all of them. So I've now got 90 more construction robots. That's going to give us 210 construction robots across the entire system. And as soon as they have actually made, we'll dump them all out, and they can start running around and doing a whole load of stuff. I want to put the whole lot out together. So let me just go and get my red... Circuit right here. I'm going to remove that little bit up there. So there, we've got a couple of construction robots that have already come out and they've taken a little bit. But you can see that you need quite a number of construction robots to be able to move even just a little bit. Once the, When the belts are full, it does take quite a number of them. See? They're all coming up through. Now they're starting to go back into various different storage bits and so on. Um, but I've got another 90 robots now, so I can take those, and if you look, <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So we've got almost 90 robots available in there, and you mouse over 210 construction robots now in the system. For those of you who are new to the series, bottom right-hand corner, uh, well, not bottom right-hand corner, but over on the right-hand side, it says Roboport Necrogami right there. And underneath that, right at the bottom of the description, it does have construction and the number of robots there. That's where it tells you. Right. And now I go to this, and I can lift that lot. Look at that. It's like poetry in motion. And already I've got just about every single robot out and using that. So next, I want to go along here, and I want to lift that little lot of factories there. I don't want to remove this just yet. Actually, no, I do, don't I? That is that is something I am going to be wanting to remove. So we'll remove that. We'll lift up that line right there, and we'll go back in here, and we'll lift up the line on this side as well. Look at that. Look at, look at the way that it moves. That They just flow in waves. I love seeing how they do this. It's just fantastic. And we're quite close to the storage area as well. So they're doing it nice and quick. It's always a bonus. Right. Come over to this bit. And we've got another line there. Be careful not to remove the bit for the copper. Take those out. There we go. We've got another line of them. They're busy coming through. I've got another bit over there. And another bit over there. That they can go and take. And then we've got this iron up through here. Plus that bit. There. And those. Right, it's picking everything up. And did you see that when I set that one to be removed, um, these inserters, they picked up some copper and then they went to drop it down. They couldn't actually drop it down because there was still stuff in the way. That is something that 
you have got to watch sometimes and you can end up like bits of stuff on the ground. It's not the end of the world, but it does stop you from building. So it's something to be aware of. It can get in your way at times. Right, so we remove that bit up to there and we get the robots to clear that. And then we can go and it can clear that line plus that bit. I've got the inserters. I've got some more inserters over here. I've actually got like that with a bit of iron. It's getting better. Getting up through. We're clearing everything out the way. We'll also clear all of these electronic circuits on this line over here. So I will do that. And I'm going to take out that entire square right there. So all of that production. So I'm just going to stop there. There we go. Look at them. Look at these busy little fellas. This is brilliant. Go on, keep working. And then they're going to go and pick all of that up. They take all this. I love the way they take everything off the belts as well. It makes life a lot easier for you. It really does. It makes a huge difference. And, of course, if you remember, we do have that filtered. So we're not dump accidentally dumping this onto a belt. And this is why you must never, ever go around putting yellow chests down just anywhere. You've got to be very, very selective about where you put your yellow chests and also how you set them up in the circuit, right? Right here, I've got a whole load of extra bits and pieces now that are coming up um, that are slowly being put in here. And if I didn't have a filter set on the outfeed on there, this would not be this. This would really not be going well for us. Okay, that would all be then being fed onto a belt. And it would be causing us a lot of problems. Right, so we've now got a roboport that is out of power. There's no power supply coming into it. And that one now has got a symbol coming up there. That's to say there's no robot access. Uh, it's not part of the network. And that's only because this roboport is no longer part of it. So that one, the battery is recharging. As soon as the battery is recharged, that will then become part of the network again. You do have to wait for that battery to recharge to a set point, and then it becomes part of the network again. And everything is all tickety-boo. Not that it really matters that it's not part of the network down there at the moment. It's not like the end of the world, but it is something that we would want later on. And I'm just going to lift that pole up, and I'm going to dump another one down there. So I've now cleared all of that, but our science, all of our research has now ground to a complete halt. That is a bad situation. We don't want our science to have ground to a complete halt, but we're going to be redoing the science. That's all going to be remade. And I was thinking of just doing a blueprint to drop this down. And I am actually going to do a bit of a blueprint, but we're going to... You know what? I will. I'm going to take an empty... We've got RoboPort there and we've got a stone brick floor. So we'll take a new blueprint here. And I'm going to take that... And I'm going to blueprint that lot. I'm just going to blueprint the whole thing like that. I'll get rid of these belts here. So I don't want them. The rest of that should be fine. Right. So I've now got a blueprint over there. I'm just going to get rid of that. I've got that blueprint saved. That's just a temporary one. I don't actually want it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into here and we're going to remove these. I'm going to start removing some of this stuff up in between as well, like that. Uh, we'll go down here and we'll remove a load of those bits. Down here, remove all of those bits in between. So that's all of the robo ports cleared out from in between everything there. And... Yeah, I thought that might happen. We've removed one too many um, telegraph poles all the way through. But that's all right. That can stay joined in together. So this bit up here, I don't actually need to move this at the moment. But that's just fine as it is. I don't need to do anything with that just for a second. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to come down over here. And you can see that we've got green science packs down there. So what I want to do next is... Those are going to go up that way, sort of. But I'm going to take this one here. Now, if you remember, we've we've just lifted those, and they've gone and be, they've been put down in storage over there. So I'm now going to bring this one up, and just trying to think where I actually want to put this system, and that's going to drop down 
there for now. It looks a bit messy. I'm going to lift that up and I'm going to change it round in a bit. That's not the final product. That's not how it's going to stay. We're definitely going to be moving it. What I am going to do is I'm going to go over this side and I'm going to take... Oops. I'm going to do that. Bring that one over to there. And then I'm going to do an underpass. It's going to go like that. I come out to there. And then we take belt and we run out this way. Over to there. And I've now run out of belt. But you can see they've already they've come out. They've dumped all of that down. Very, very useful of them. I need to get some more belts. All right, we'll grab a few belts out of here. Uh, well, we've... Um, yeah, 100, 200, 300, 72. So there's a whole host of belts there. And we can also have a look in here. We'll take those right there, and we'll take those underground ones. We've got 143, 181 of those as well. Now, this is actually something that's going to be really, really handy, having, like, these different items. We'll take them, we'll take the lamps, take the copper plates, and then I'll have a look in here as well. And I've got a whole load more stuff in here that is, it's more items that we're going to want that we're going to be using. So if I take them there, right, so if I've got that lot, uh, really we are going to be wanting red belts across just about everything now, but not quite just about everything. Also, I don't want to leave this like this, right? We've got it like that, but the rest of this I don't actually want. I want to remove this, so what I will do is I'll lift all of these up and... Also, that, like that. There. So, yes, it was very handy having the, the bots lift them all and, and move them all for us. That it, it was absolutely great of them. I, I genuinely appreciate everything that they did for us, but it's not quite what I want now. Okay, so I've now got a very, very full inventory. So, I'm going to take the labs over there. And that one there, I'm going to run that down. It's going to go directly in line there. I'm going to put that one there, and then this one, I'll leave a gap of one, I'm going to move that one up, and I'll leave a gap of one, and I'll put that one right there like that, so there's a little gap in between, and then I'm going to take the light, and I'll put the light in between it there, I'm going to remove that one, and I'm going to put that one there, just because I can, and we've got 100 fast inserters right here, so I'm going to take fast inserters like that and they're going to go through there and then I can oops right I can pick these up now there's something else that I do want to show you just very quickly I did uh, I have gone out and I've gone and picked up something that is absolutely incredible and useful in this game. I find this particular mod to be one of the greatest mods in existence. Right? Look how I can run through the trees now. This is absolutely fantastic. And you probably see where I'm mousing over base mod, Squeak Through. Right? I'm using Squeak Through now and I love this mod. I You can run between the pipes. And this is the bit that I love, is the fact that you can go past the pipes. The pipes no longer pen you in you don't have to go around them and it makes such a massive difference to the overall performance of literally everything um i love squeak throughs it is my single favorite quality of life mod in the entire game i think it is absolutely brilliant and it's it's the sort of mod that i think i i genuinely wonder how i can get along without it sometimes right so I'll do that, and then we leave a gap of one each time, and we pull them up like that. And then I take the fast inserters, and we drop them up like that, like that. And then I'm going to take lamps, and I'm going to put those in between as well. I'm also going to put lamps on the outside of this, just to make it look quite cool. So it's, um, it's like pretty much glowing in the dark. The whole thing's going to be lit up like a Christmas tree. And you know what? While we're here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'll make another six of those. We've got some solid fuel right there, which I don't actually need. And we can use that over here. 
because this does use solid fuel. So I'm going to drop 16 solid fuel in there. And that's just going to give me another free space in my inventory. Because at the moment, inventory space is a little bit limited. I've, I'm very, very limited on my own inventory space. So I've got two more of these. I actually want another three of them. I've got two at the moment, right there, two labs. So I want three more of those. So let me make those. One, two, three, like that. I can make loads of them. And I've seen people with 100 labs all laid out, right? So it is entirely possible to, to put out as many as you want, really. There's, there's no actual limit on the number of labs that you can put down. And I've seen some very impressive numbers when it comes to labs. But I think this 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 will be enough for us to be going on with. We drop them down there like that. And then we'll put our lights all the way through like this. Yeah, like that. And then we can go in here and we will put our inserters all the way through like that. Uh, so they, they just sort of work. That they've got a triangle here that they can work their way down through, which is a very handy thing to have. And then we're going to need power cables through all of them. So I will put... A power line at the front, like that, and I'll do another one up there, and I'll, I'll do this on each line, all the way down through. So there's a lot of power cables on here, admittedly, and I probably don't need quite this many, but I, I, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, that one there, I don't want, and I don't want that one there either. I want them to, I want to move them over so that they're all exactly the same all the way down through, and then I'm going to do one there, and I'm going to do one there, like that. Okay. So we've now got a perfect lineup up through there. And then we're going to take some belts and we're going to come down here. And I'm going to run that straight up there. And that is spot on perfect where I want it to go. And that one's going to go like that, just to there. And then we're going to go up here. And this one is going to come over here. I'll bring it over a little bit further. I'm going to go like that. Uh, it's going to come down here like that. And that one is going to go in there like that. So it's top and bottom on there. So drop one there and I'll drop one there like that. And look at them go. This is absolutely brilliant. And look at the speed that they start chucking these through. This is absolutely fantastic. And I love the way that it dances them all in. So we've already started... Um, researching stuff in here and in order to speed this up a little bit more um what i have done in the past is i've put like uh, additional things in because it, it sometimes it doesn't quite keep up but i mean there is an easy way to do this and that is when with, with the research over here is simply uh we get stack inserters um, and then you've also got another research that you can do. This one, insert a capacity bonus over here. That's another really good one that you can do. And it very quickly unlocks um, absolutely everything in there. But we've got masses of stuff now. It's all being produced. It's all coming through. The only thing that we're really slow on at the moment is the copper still. Um, those are running through just fine. And yeah, well, I say that's the only thing. Uh, we've got a number of things that we're slow on at the moment that we do still want to work our way through. Okay, so we do have still a number of things that we want to improve on and we need to work on. We need to just try and keep everything moving along. At the moment, we've got ore is kind of maxed out on there right now. So we don't need to worry about ore production right now. And I've also, I don't need to worry about that. So we might just get rid of that and the splitter and just have that one looping up round and going on to there. I'd like to be able to keep this going, but in order to keep that one going, I need transport belts as well as being able to take those. And I'm just wondering if we ought to change how I've done this ever so slightly. And I'm thinking that probably the best way that I could change this around to make this slightly better is if I remove those three... And then I remove those, and that one, okay? And then I take a belt here. Uh, how am I going to do this? Right, I want to keep those running. 
You know what? I know what I can do. I can do pretty much what I had here already, didn't I? You remember what I had here before? I can just, I can take one of these. Because that's all I need, is I need that one. And then if I go into here, I've got that, and I've got the, I've got transport belts being made right there. And I'm now manufacturing transport belts. I've got transport belts being manufactured over here, and they're running up through there. So I can also take those off, and I could send those back over this way. Or I could just have a separate one making the transport belts over here. And I think we'll just have one making transport belts right there. And then that one will go like that. And that will take the transport belts up that way. But what I will also do as well is... Oh, I don't have a splitter. Okay, I need to make a splitter. We will make one splitter right there. I'll take that one. Uh, this one right here, if I switch that one around, I drop that one down there like that. I've now got those moving out, and I take you, and I drop you down there like that, and then I take this belt, I go there, and I go there like that, and then this one here, that one will go up like that. So that's going to drop them onto one side, and that will drop those onto the other side. So then that belt, oops, want you to go up there, so I've got both of them, you. Up there, you, out there, and you, out there. There we go. Everything's coming through perfectly. Right. There's that little bit. So now I want this one to start gathering things up. But they're actually in the wrong spot. So I'm just going to pick those three up, and I'm going to move them up an extra one spot. I'm going to need to remove these as well. If I go up by, I don't want it there, I don't want it there, I want to go there. One spot up, and we go like that, one, two, and I think I probably only need two. Thinking about this, I probably just need two of these. I probably don't need any more than two. So we'll run two at the moment, and we'll see how that works. So I can put that like that. And then you can come down to here, and you can go to there like that. And then I can take that one, and it can run into there. I can take a one of them, drop that down. And I can do that, and that, and that, and that, like that. And then I go into here, and I take you like this, and I copy that, and I put that into there. Right. Uh, because in what we also want to do is I want to be able to make the underground belt. So you've got to make underground belts. I need transport belts. I need iron plates for those. And then these here, I need iron plates, electronic circuits, transport belts. Those I need gear wheels. Those I need more gear wheels. So all you need to make those four items there is iron, and that's it, right? Just iron. To make these, you need an input of electronic circuits as well. And you can actually set it up fairly quickly and easily so that you've got a good constant supply of all of them. I'm not going to worry about getting the rest of the stuff set up just yet because I'm building this factory for robots. I mean, we're going to... The idea of the series is to make a million robots. Now, if we're going to have a million robots pumping through on... Well, folks, Rome wasn't built in a day, and a million minions are not going to be built in a single episode. We've run out of time, so if you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.